Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about step-by-step -step process of Neo4j installation on a window mach Windows machine. So the so basically, I will divide this installation process and starting with the project of Neo4j into four steps. So the first step is uh, we have to go to the uh, good good. I have uh, you can go to the web browser and you can just type uh, Neo4j download inside the Google Chrome. And you will get the first website. So click on this particular first website. So you can see here, you will be navigated to this particular page. So where you can see there is a download button for the for the Neo4j on the desktop. So before installing the Neo4j, please check the system requirements that your uh, machine, which on which you are going to install Neo4j, has uh, the minimum hardware requirements as well as the software requirements. So now when you click on this particular button, download button, so what will happen? Uh, it is going to ask you about some details. So you need to provide all your details, like what's your name, last name, if you're working for a company, or if you have your own company, so all those details in detail, and you are using it for your company purpose, or you're using it for your individual purpose. So you can put all the details and you can click on the download desktop button. So when you click on the download desktop button, what will happen? It's going to download the Neo4j and you will see neo4j.exe file which is being downloaded so it's a, just like a normal software uh, .exe file and uh, once that download uh, .exe file is being done so we are done with our first step of downloading the uh, uh, neo4j desktop from the official website so once this is being done and you have entered all the details you will also see that you will be navigated after entering all these details you will be uh, provided something like uh, um, once you have downloaded, you will get a, th a message for thanks for downloading the Neo4j. And there will be a kind of an activation key which will be given to you. So please remember, just copy this activation key. You can copy it and you can put it inside a notepad or anything. Or you can keep the browser open and you can just copy it and you can directly put it inside the software. I will tell you where this particular uh, activation key will be required. So once um, you have .exe file is being done, so let me go to this uh, .exe file. I will click on this .exe file. And let's wait. Um, it's going to show. Let me check. Yeah, it's opening. It will take some moments because it's a huge database and installation takes place time because you can see the file is, file is this many KBs. So yeah, it takes some time to open the software for the installation purpose. So this installation is not going to be very much tough. It's going to be a very simple process of uh, download. Um, so yes, so you can see here, this is the, uh, so we I got this particular page. Let me minimize other windows. Yeah, so you will be popped up with this one uh, that uh, what you want to uh, install you, you wanted to, there are multiple users, then you can set the multiple users, but this is only for me. So you can see my name is also pop getting populated. The reason is that I have already, uh, when downloading it, the exe file, I have put all my details there. Then you need to click on the next button. Then you need to provide the path where you want your destination folder to be. Then you click on the install button. And then it will start installing because since my, I have already installed it and I already have my uh, Neo4j desktop running, so it's going to give me this particular method. So I will just do a cancellation. So this is a simple process of uh, installing the Neo4j. So once you click on the next, next, so it will is going to uh, ask. And then you have to open the Neo4j. So once you, so this is already, I have I already installed it. So it's not going to show me the welcome page. So it's going to give you a welcome page and you need to provide this particular key. Uh, inside that particular welcome page you can see here this is the this is the uh, page you will going to get when you install when you get your um, installation so you need to copy this particular key and you need to provide it so in case if you have forget to provide that and you just move ahead so then you can also go to the software keys you can just add the software keys and you can put the uh, the values which i have copied it the api key uh, the key and then you can add it accordingly. For me, you can see it's already being added, registered, and this was the time when I registered it. So yeah, so this, please keep in mind that this is a very important step you need to uh, you need to follow. Now, the next thing is once you have installed this uh, particular uh, soft um, uh, Neo4j inside this, so first step is going to, we are going to create a new project. 
So you need to click on this new button. You need to click on the create project. So once you click on the create project, so you will be get, uh, let's say, um, I created this. Uh, let me show you. Uh, let's say this is the uh, project. So I will rename it as a uh, uh, tutorial Neo 4J. Uh, just tutorial, I will going to give it tutorial and I click on this one. So this is the project which is being created. So after creating this particular project inside that, so I need to add a database. So for adding a database, I need to click on this particular button and I need to select the local DBMS. So once I select the local DBMS, I'm going to use the graph DBMS. Password, you can provide it as per your convenient. So I'm going to provide some password. Uh, please remember, uh, use a good password. Uh, it should not be a weak password. And then I click on the create button. So when I click on the create button, you can see here the graph DBMS is getting um, getting initialized. So it's getting creating this graph DBMS. So this is this will take some two three minutes of time. Uh, but after that, once this is being done, so then we will go with the uh, next step of uh, uh, setting up the password of the database. And uh, uh, I think we have already set the database and we have we have to just launch the database. So this is what is happening right now. So once this will start, so you can see the status of the DBMS will be as a, a running. So you see here, this is the database which we have created. It's been created and now I need to click on the start button. So when I click on the start button, you can see here it's showing the status as starting. So once this the database has started, so it's the status will change to active. So let's see. It will take a few minutes. And then after that, this uh, database DBMS will start. And then we can start looking into the, into the, we will write our first cipher query to check that our installation process is correct or not. So, yeah. Let's wait. It's still in the starting process. Now you can see here the status has changed to active, which means the database has DB, uh, is being started. Okay. And the database is inactive. So once you got this database as active, so then the next step is uh, you need to uh, click on this open button, which is next to your database. This is our database. So this is the open button, which we have. So basically what will happen, this will launch the new 4J browser. So if you click on this uh, open button, so by default, it will open this new 4J browser. So I click on this new 4J browser. So it's going to open our new window uh, for uh, doing our, uh, for writing our cipher query. So let's wait. So you can see here, a new window window has opened here. So this is the new 4J browser. So this is how the new 4J browser looks like. So it is first, because since we are starting with it, so they, are, they will provide some tutorials, like uh, how you can get started with new 4J browser, how you can put the, connect it with the live data, Cypher basics, what are the basic Cypher queries. Remember, this is a graph database. So we don't use the SQL queries, we use Cypher queries here. Uh, then we have uh, how we can launch it in a browser. So first, let me put a simple Cypher query. So don't worry about Cypher queries. What are they? We are going to look into in detail about the different Cypher queries operation. And let me copy this one and I will just try to run. So when I run, so there's nothing to, uh, but it, the code has run. You can see here completed after 129 millisecond. And because since it's not connected to any particular database and database doesn't contain, contain any records, it's an empty database. So we don't see any changes here. So yeah, so this is how, which shows that our installation is correct and our new 4G database uh, is working in the desktop. Uh, so now once you have, once we have done this, okay. So which means that it's been successful installation. So this is one way of uh, launching the new 4G browser. Another way is you can just uh, copy uh, and you can put uh, inside this uh, uh, new 4G browser, you can put this URL, localhost 747 browser, and then you click on the next. So you can see here, when you do it for the first time, so it's going to ask for the username and new 4G and the password, and then you need to click on the connect button. 
So once you click on the connect button, so it's going, it is going to connect you to the, you can see here it's got connected to this particular Neo4j. So there are two ways. One way is like if you want to work inside your uh, system only, so then you, this way you can open up, which is by default. The other way is if you want to uh, do a preference to open it inside a Google Chrome browser, then you can uh, put it there and you can also start working on the Cypher queries. So this is how uh, the installation uh, of Neo4j uh, uh, is, is we, this is what, how we, we are going to install the Neo4j uh, software. Now, uh, please remember, if you have any questions regarding anything, uh, please write down in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video.